Alright guys, we are once again back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Last episode we defeated my Valentine and the Harpy Lady, and now it is time to do Attack from the Deep. And I'm pretty sure I know who this is. Is it Mako Tsunami? The truth and power of the Millennium Puzzle was beginning to dawn on Yugi. During his duels, the puzzle infused Yugi with the power and soul of an ancient spirit. Though this was a major issue to ponder, there was a smaller but no less important matter to deal with first. All the dueling made me hungry. Did any of you guys remember to bring any food with you? Sorry, Joey. What are we thinking coming here with no food? How are we ever going to get through the rest of the competition without anything to eat? That's a good question, Joey. This dueling really takes it out of you, and I haven't seen any burger stands or restaurants since we got here. I smell something cooking that away. They followed the scent to a beach where they spotted a campfire with several roasting fish in the distance. Oh man, I just love barbecued fish. It smells good. And I bet it tastes even better. What makes you think those fish are yours to eat? I trust me. We eat first and ask questions later. Your stomachs will thank me. Joey ran down to the campfire. Joey would say anything to fill his belly. Some people have absolutely no self-control. Joey saved some for me. Tristan ran after Joey. It wasn't long before Yugi and Taya joined them as well. Joey grabbed one of the fish from the fire. Oh man, this looks awesome. Just as the team began to bite into the fish, a young man emerged from the ocean with a spear in his hand. Enjoy- Yep, that is him, Mako Tsunami. Enjoy yourselves, you fish thieves, for this is your last meal. I knew this was a bad idea. How dare you steal my fish, you bottom-feeding thieves. Hey, chill out, guy. It's just a few fish. A few fish that do not belong to you, and to steal from a fisherman's catch is to prove you have no honor. Wait a second, aren't you Mako Tsunami, the top ranked ocean duel duelist? And who might you be? I'm Yugi Moto. Sorry about your fish. You're Yugi Moto, the only duelist ever to defeat Seto Kaiba. What a fine surprise. Guys, my dogs are barking, by the way, so you're probably going to hear that. I must apologize. I've been ungracious if you are friends of Yugi Moto. Please come sit down and eat your fill. The team sat down at the fire and shared a meal with Mako. After the feast, the team thanked Mako and started to head out when Mako threw a spear at the ground in front of them. I treated you to dinner. Perhaps you will honor me with a duel. He's nuts. No, but I am an expert fisherman, and you have taken my bait. What bait? Why the fish, of course. I laid it out and lured you three right in, but I never expected to catch Yugi Moto. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent, but a duel against Yugi would be a true test. Mako Tsunami, I accept your challenge. So much reading. Good lord. I'm gonna go with my trusty rock. I always like to go second, so I know what I'm dealing with. Nice hand. That's a good hand. And he already brought the water out. Good god. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't want to use that yet. Oh, you need a, a summon for that? I didn't know that. I guess we'll summon him. Destroy the powerful monster first. And we'll end it there. Oh, he had a summon. A legendary fisherman, that's his big card. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock top monster your control is changed, you can target one. Yeah, it doesn't do me any good. Uh, we're gonna set this. And we're gonna activate this.
I tried activating it, but it didn't work. There we go. Ah, it broke my Horn of the Unicorn. Dang. Oh, he's tough. Dang, dude. Hold on. Oh, this might work. The other guy can't attack, so might as well destroy the other one. I don't know if Yumi will hurt uh, summon Skull if I summon him, if that makes any sense. I actually don't want to do this yet. I want to save him for now. Wait, hold on a sec. It wouldn't let me destroy this. It let me do, do a direct attack. Hmm. I wonder why I couldn't destroy him. I don't think the Spellbinding Circle has any effect on that. Uh-oh. That was bad. Well, that does me no freaking good. I probably should have summoned Summon Skull. That was stupid. I knew that was going to backfire. Hope this does not backfire. Nice. This is a pretty good fight so far. Ah, how did I know that was going to happen? There we go. Hmm, put them all in defense. We're going to try summoning.
Dang, he has high defense. I can't hit that. I can't do anything right now. Oh god. Well, that probably screwed me. I don't have anything that can fight that. I, I just lied. There we go. I got lucky drawing that uh, unicorn. Nice. Fortress Whale is a tough card too. It's a good one. Though that card didn't make its debut until the next series, but... Just saying. The Battle City Tournament is when that took place. Huh. Let's do it with him so they have a good two 2,000 guys. Oh, it only raised... Oh, that was stupid. I thought it would be better than that. And it's over. I win. This is fun, man. I like this. What a grand duel. I salute you, my friend. This victory was not easily won, Mako. Yes, it was. You're a great duelist yourself. So, when it says a new deck recipe, I wonder if that just means, like... It shows you how to make his deck, or if it actually gives you his deck. Okay guys, the next episode we'll have is the Dinosaur Duelist. So stay tuned for that guys, and as always, I'll be seeing you for more later on. Have a good one.